at Ingram Spark, and this is what we'll be doing today to uh, do working with Ingram Spark and book covers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create your account. If you do not have an account, do create one. It is free. You're going to log in. And the other thing that you're going to need to as well is you're going to need an ISBN number or have the one that Ingram Spark will assign to you. But I highly recommend having your own ISBNs. And then you're going to log in. And everything you're going to find here is going to be your, your book cover creator is going to be in the book building tool. And once you get in here, you're going to fill in everything about your book. And yes, you have to do that too in order to make this cover creator actually work because they have to know how many pages of your book and everything to make it the spine width correct. This is one that I already have been working on that I have coming out next April 19, 2022. So we're going to go into that one right here. And it's going to come up and then... You're going to have everything, like I said, you're going to put in your ISBN number. You're not, you don't have to fill in a lot, really, just to have the ISBN. You don't have to put in titles, just say that you own the copyright, who you are. And that's basically it. You don't have to put in a title description or categorize. None of that. Just, just have the ISBN number. That's really all they care about. And then you're going to scroll down to edit my files, and that will take you into um, Ingram Sparks book building tool. And once you get into that, you're going to, I think this is what it's, it's going to look like, uh, no, not like that. It's going to go here, the book building tool. And you'll have like everything to choose your trim size, your binding, how you want it all to look, but we're doing this for a paperback. So we'll go then to the cover after you have downloaded the interior, which is the manuscript itself, you can check out my other video I have about working with the book building tool. And it will, and I go through how you download your manuscript and get all that together. Or if you don't want to have your manuscript work all that in the book building tool, you can, if you can format it in Word, just download it directly. Okay, so here we are with the cover. Now, like I said, these are templates. You don't, it, this is where now Book Brush or Canva will run hand in hand with this. Uh, you're just going to choose a template because these are their templates that they offer. And that is basically it. You, and you cannot move, you, you can move around the, just what they offer, but you're not going to want to have just that for a cover. I mean, come on. So you're going to, I clicked on this template here and then I went in to book brush, but like I said right here, go ahead and do all of that first, getting your interior. That way you'll know exact amount of pages to put in. So then I went over here to book brush. Once you get in to book brush, which I have a video on that as well, you'll go over and you'll go to print and then you're going to choose your trim size, which was, we're going to do an eight and a half. Hold on. Eight and a half by five and a half, and then choose your paper size, paper type. I chose cream, and right there your page count two ninety four, because th that right there is going to determine your. That's going to determine your spine width, and then you will go ahead and you will just um, you will design your book cover. How whatever you know fits your t fits your book fits your genre all of that. Now here comes the tricky part. This is what took me at least three days to do. It wasn't hard, it was just very, very tedious. So what it is is that when I put it in here like that, you cannot move that. This is just other little junk that was just part of it and I just gotta get rid of it. Um, so once you get into it, when I did my cover, my title and my name, was this was that I had it at a 40 in book brush the the uh, text size it was bleeding over into these um in the marks here <clears throat> excuse me so it was too big so I had to keep going back and since this is you can't like this is not book brush this is not canva you have to keep going back into those programs and making sure this is all right constantly so this right here, I don't, I mean, it 
it just kind of differs on the size of the font, the uh, type of font you have. This right here, the size is 35. And when I saw that in Book Brush, let me tell you, it was so teeny tiny, I could not see it. I couldn't even believe it turned out this good here on the Ingram Spark templates. And over here for the spine, that took me a while to. These may look big, but these are not. If you look at this in Book Brush, these right here are sevens. They are so infinitesimal tiny on Book Brush, I, I couldn't, I could not see them. So you just really have to keep playing with it because Ingram Spark is very persnickety on the t on the book covers and I hear from the YouTube grapevine that because they're so persnickety they keep rejecting the book covers so this should help with getting it not rejected as much I heard maybe it could be about it, it might be the they might accept it the first or second try but I would say keep coming back and checking and making sure everything is within your the bleed lines here, your margins. This over here, um, my for my the back of the book, my synopsis. That wasn't as hard as the cover. This right here, I just fit everything in into the book brush back here. Um, that wasn't very hard, and I just made sure that everything was in the margins. And I kind of just made it a little bit smaller because, and that was only because I wanted to put in my website. I wanted to put in pictures of where people could find me on social media, but that was not working. It is so, and then once you, that was even a book brush trying to get everything small enough to fit and not be gigantic, too big and overlapping and everything. Because once you get things too tiny, it's not going to work. And when I tried, even in book brush, if it looked good, it didn't look good here. So I just decided just to, you know, forget about that, the social media, and just put it here. Just put my website there, and I'll probably put maybe my social media. I'll say something inside the book about, you know, check out social media and all of that. So that is that. Let's go to the preview, see how this looks. It may look good. It may look so cracked up, but we'll see. <laughs> So preparing for book cover and, um, but yeah, so you just really got to have to keep playing with things. And then once that's done and you have everything, this is, should be the last thing that you do though in Ingram Spark, but it will save it. I mean, you can save everything. It, so then once you have all of it done and you feel happy and good with it, then you will um, send it on through for them to approve it. And you'll just wait back to hear from them. There we go. Well, that looks good. It actually did a pretty good job. So there you go. That's the book cover for my book. There we go. I really am kind of upset because I don't like this white line. But uh, I might go back. I think I can go back and just, again, it's like I said, you got to go back and you got to keep fixing things. Um, getting everything really to just fit everything and little bits of stuff. I mean, I think if I went into book brush and kind of just pull that over to over the over their margin, it would be fine because I just want I just want the black to cover the whole thing. Okay, so th um, that is how you uh, do with the Ingram Spark book cover. If you learned anything from this, please leave it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you do. We can hit the hundred mark. That would be so freaking awesome. And I hope to see you guys again. Thank you so much. Have a good day.